Mitt Romney has, of course, always been pro-life, except for when he was pro-choice, or pro-life, or pro-choice. In fact, let's go through the greatest hits of Mitt Romney. When he was running for governor of Massachusetts, this is what Mitt Romney had said. I will preserve and protect a woman's right to choose, a woman's right to choose for a woman uh, to make that choice herself. The woman should have the right to make her own choice as to whether or not to have an abortion. I thought a woman should have her own right to choose, that I will preserve and protect a woman's right to choose. I do not take the position of a pro-life candidate. I'm in favor of preserving and protecting a woman's right to choose. I never called myself pro-choice. I never allowed myself to use the word pro-choice because I didn't feel I was pro-choice. Obviously, that was earlier uh, in the debates, and his opponent is smirking there. She wound up losing anyway. But uh, And then in 2007, Romney's like, what, me, pro-choice? I didn't say pro-choice. I said, I do not support the position of a pro-life candidate. I didn't say I was pro-choice. I said the woman could choose. I didn't say I was pro-choice. I never said the words. What kind of a weasel is this guy? Who can comfortably vote for this guy? But we're not done yet. Then, of course, this time around, he wanted to make it clear how pro-life he was. Watch. I'm in favor of uh, a pro-life uh, policy. The uh, legislation that relates to abortion is something which is going to have to be uh, uh, approved by the Supreme Court. And the key decisions I'll take as the president will be, number one, stopping uh, funding for Planned Parenthood, reinstituting the Mexico City policy, which says our funds can't be used for abortion around the world, and appointing justices to the Supreme Court that will follow the Constitution, hopefully reverse Roe v. Wade, and return to the states the authority for making law with regards to abortion. Now. Look, you can say, to be fair, when he was running for Massachusetts of governor, governor of Massachusetts, hey, look, you know, you can say that he was trying to be a liberal because it's a liberal state. Now he's changed his stripes because he's trying to be conservative. But that was a long time ago. I mean, he wouldn't change his position on abortion within this same campaign, would he? I mean, he is definitely pro-life. He would overturn Roe vs. Wade, defund Planned Parenthood. You just saw it. Here's Mitt Romney talking to the Des Moines Register. Uh, I don't. Uh, there's no legislation with regarding uh, regards to abortion that I'm familiar with that that, uh, that uh, would become part of my agenda. What pro-life? Me? I don't support any pro-life legislation. Look, I said I'd appoint Supreme Court justices. Now he didn't even say this. Filling in the blanks, right? I, I said I'd do executive orders. I didn't necessarily say I'd do pro-life legislation. The world's biggest weasel. You know what the biggest enemy of Mitt Romney is? YouTube. We have it all on tape, Mitt. <laughs> so did you mean what you said? But I stand by what I said, whatever it was. <laughs> okay, but how about the words that you speak? But the words were that came out were not what I meant. Oh, well, that clarifies. <laughs> and my favorite is when he was running against Ted Kennedy for the Senate seat in Massachusetts. Man, did Kennedy nail him on the debate on this. On the question of the choice issue, I have supported the Roe v. Wade. I am pro-choice. My opponent is multiple choice. Perfect. I hope to God President Obama does the same thing. I mean, have you ever seen a political candidate that's more multiple choice than Mitt Romney in your life? We had Mark Hamill on the current show uh, on television today on The Young Turks. Of course, he's an uh, actor that played Luke Skywalker. And he said, if he had to pick someone out of central casting to act the role of a sleazy politician running for president, it would be Mitt Romney. And it's impossible to argue with that. 